Well, the government, meantime, is fighting off Labor and Green preferences in the Western Brisbane electorate of Ryan. It's held on a margin of 6% by Julian Simmons, who's looking to secure a second term in office. Let's take you live now to Anna Rawlings. Anna, this is really interesting, isn't it? Because it's really a three-horse race there. It is, Ash. In fact, it's a genuine three-horse race. So both Labor and the Greens are targeting this seat and both of their primary votes are tipped to increase. Now, Julian Simmons does hold the seat of Ryan by a margin of 6%. He was targeted, uh, he was parachuted in rather in 2019, but the socio-economics of the electorate have changed during that time. It was previously known as uh, the electorate encompassing Brisbane's wealthy western suburbs, but there's been an increase in renters here now, so issues such as housing affordability and cost of living are likely to drive votes. There are, of course, other issues that voters here are very passionate about, and this is what will be driving their votes. As I found out when we caught up with some as they lined up to cast their votes. Getting rid of Morrison, a good start. Why is that? Because he's a dishonest person. A federal ICAC, um, some integrity in politics, someone who has wants to be able to actually do the job. Um, climate change, uh, I'd like to see a minority government ideally with some of the teal independence. Oh, the laws. It's got to get in and vote. It's a democratic requirement. Getting rid of Scott Morrison? Yep. And locally, I'm really unhappy with the fake endorsements that Julian Simmons has done. Really, really bad form. Now, Julian Simmons joined constituents to line up and cast his vote here at the Gap at State School a short time ago. He has come under criticism this campaign for using personal letters of thanks. As an example, there was a written letter from a war veteran thanking Mr Simmons for his work in that space. He then used that as part of his election material with claims that he wasn't authorised or hadn't asked permission to do so. So I spoke to Julian Simmons after he'd cast his vote about that and how his campaign and how he feels his campaign has been going. So you currently hold the seat on a margin of 6%, but the Ryan electorate was one of the only LNP seats to slip with the vote in 2019. Are you nervous? Oh, I don't take anything for granted. I've always fought for every vote. The last three years have been a busy couple of years. We, we've been through the pandemic and then the flood for our local area, and I've worked harder, and I'd be humbled to get the support of my local residents to keep working hard for them. You did champion flood recovery, resulting in Scott Morrison changing his mind about putting in with the state government for flood recovery. What else have you done for the community? Well, we've made sure that we've delivered $230 million for local roads. We're upgrading local roads and protecting our lifestyle, making sure we keep an economy strong. You know, there's a lot of young people coming through talking to me about the fact that they're about to finish in uni and they appreciate the strong job market that they're going to be in. Uh, and also the pandemic. I mean, people remember that we took some tough decisions. We closed the borders early on and they remember that that along with JobKeeper saved lives and livelihoods. You did come under criticism for using some personal material, some thank you letters for election campaigns. Has that distracted from your campaign? I've got a wonderful community who have really come out to support me. I've, I've been working in this community for the last 12 years, both as a local councillor and now as their federal member. So those bonds of working together, those pe everybody was very happy to come out and support me and, and that's shown. So I'd be very humbled to receive people's support again in the next three years. Now, the Greens will be ho hoping to build on their state election success after getting the seat of Maywa with their candidate, Elizabeth Watson-Brown, while Labor have Peter Cosser running for the second time in this seat. Ash. Anna Rawlings, thank you.